using a remote oil filter system. All right, you got to understand the way the oil filter works. The oil filter takes the outside, that's where the oil pressure is at, and the oil pressure goes to the outside and runs through the filter element. Once it goes to the filter element, it's at the center, and the oil pressure comes out of there. That's how a normal oil filter system works. Now, when we're using the oil relocation kit, a remote oil filter system, all right, you've got the outlet right here, and it's on the outside. You can see it right here. So that makes sense with the oil filter right here. All right, so the oil filter relocation kit, the oil pressure comes out of here, runs through a hose, and then goes into the inlet of this right here, which actually holds the oil filter. The inlet, as you can see, is on the outside versus you can see the outlet on the inside. All right, so the inlet is on the outside of the oil filter. That's where the pressure goes, just like your engine will put it. All right, so the oil goes into there. So it goes right into here, and it goes past this right here, this check valve, and then it goes to the filter. And once it goes to the filter, it comes out right here, which is the outlet. All right, so you can see right there, that's where it comes out, and then it comes through a hose, and then it goes into the inlet back into the engine. And the inlet, you can see right here, goes directly in the center, and then that supplies your engine with all the oil that it'll ever need. All right, so we're here and we're showing uh, the plumbing system right here for the uh, oil system. This is the remote filter adapter. Uh, the out is the oil pressure line that goes to the filters. And we mounted our, fender, our filters in the fender here. All right, this is the pressure inlet and it goes in to the filters and through the filters and it comes out over here with this hose. Now, if you're uh, not running an oil cooler like we are, uh, you would probably plumb uh, this fitting right here to make easy access uh, to go back to the engine. But we're running an oil cooler, so we're running through the fender here. So this pressure hose right here, and it goes into our derail cooler. And then right here is the uh, return line after it's went through the cooler, and it goes back through the fender well. And right here is our return line, and it goes back to the inlet of the remote filter adapter. All right, you got to be very careful on the way you plumb this because uh, it will starve the engine for oil. And uh, so read the instructions very carefully. But uh, this system right here adds about two quarts of oil to our. Uh, our system, which makes our system last a lot longer, as far as when I say that, the engine, everything. And uh, if you think about it like this with diesels and stuff, they've got a similar system. They run eight to 10 quarts, maybe even more. The more oil is in the system, all those contaminants that get in the oil, it's a less of a concentration over the same amount of miles if you have more oil in the system. And then you also have the benefits of the oil being cooler basically saving the motor. So, and uh, we've got ours double filtered. Um, it's, uh, we've got the room here and uh, we want this to be a more of a street car than a, a race car. We want to drive it and we want to make sure it's got maximum protection. Hey guys, here at Street Power, we want to make your video experience awesome. If you like our videos, hit the like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep on seeing our original content made just for you.